Okay. Um, there's a crazy thing that I forgot to mention to you guys. Uh, I've lost almost all the weight before. I understand the pain. I understand the struggle. It's not easy. Um, oh. <laughs> oh. The, the stigma around it is from not talking about it. Just that 10 pounds. I've gained back some things that I felt like I lost along the way. I've started to reach out to people and I've said, we should go do something. We should be social. We should see each other. You should come over to the house. To get onto the more positive stuff, I realize now as I've lost the weight, like it, just the ten, just the ten pounds. I since I've lost the first ten pounds, I suggested to a high school friend, not the same one, unfortunately. I uh, I got to work up to that because I I feel like um, that could be a bit of a mess because I'm sure she didn't think that I was shying away from conversation because I'm fat, <laughs> um, and she's not because. Uh, part of that realization is that just that 10 pounds, I've gained back some things that I felt like I lost along the way. Um, and they, they haven't gone away, which is nice. You know, uh, I think that part of it is you gain back some confidence, understanding that you can lose weight. Um, and, and then past that, you really just feel better. You feel better, you feel more social, you feel more alive. The first 10 pounds uh, uh, now... 15 or 16 pounds, I can't quite remember what it is. I have more lust for life. I feel better about myself. I want to make plans with people. I want to see people. I want uh, all this stuff. I'm way more patient with my kids. Um, they're One of the side effects of having um, an early childhood educator in the house is you come to understand the uh, potential effects of your actions um, uh, when it comes to losing your temper with your children or um, not recognizing their emotional state or all, all this other stuff. And before losing the weight, I would understand those things, but I w it wouldn't be enough for me to not uh, tell them to stop or tell them to go to their room or uh, raise my voice or, you know, uh, and now... I feel like I'm in better control of myself and I feel like I can control the situation with them better. And, and I've seen the difference in them. It's been three or four weeks. I have seen the difference in how the kids act and they come to me when they need something and they come to me when they need help. Do I uh, still get annoyed? For sure. I mean, raising kids is not an easy thing. Uh, but... Having kids, the good outweighs the bad. If you want more on that topic, I'll make another video because there's a lot there. But um, I treat my kids better, period. Um, I'm, not, I'm not proud of how I've treated them sometimes before. I do think that I'm a good dad. Uh, but I treat them better now, and I attribute that to weight loss. Uh, Jing, who I feel is incredibly healthy weight-wise, um, so does her doctor, but she wants to lose weight, and I support that as long as it's healthy. Um, uh, Jing and I started a weight loss journey about five weeks ago. Um, I already mentioned to you that that uh, obese people are, are always trying to lose weight. We really sort of made a plan and uh, it's been incredibly helpful to have Jing along with me with for it because um, I've done keto by myself before and I've done diets by myself before and uh, without a partner uh, when you have to watch other people eat the food that you can't and when you want to that's that's the hardest for sure so it's uh, uh, it's invaluable to have her along on this journey with us. Um, we're giving the kids some keto stuff, but for the most part, we still sort of make them their own meals. Um, they're at the age where they only eat specific things. Uh, we, we'll try to get them to eat other stuff. Uh, sometimes we're successful, sometimes we're not. But uh, as long as, as Jing and I are eating the same things, that I find that really helpful. So we decided to commit to keto and see how far it takes us. And we're not having any dif difficulties adapting to the keto uh, lifestyle. Um, I think it's a lifestyle and not a diet. You know, um, I think that at the start of it, you need to be a much more strict with yourself than you do when you're a year down the road. But um, 
it's a lifestyle. You know, you, you I, I, I've adapted to eating this way. And it's not, um, I don't consider it a diet. I consider it my lifestyle. Although, and I understand that uh, the things that I eat are my diet. I get that. But uh, I don't consider it a diet in the, uh, in the typical Weight Watchers sense. And it's working. You know, uh, that's the other thing that I wanted to say. I don't find what I'm doing difficult. Yes, there are times where I need to mentally think about things. Uh, and I definitely check, check the nutritional value on everything a lot more now. But I'm not finding this lifestyle difficult at all. I, uh, like I said, I, I went through a three-day fast that, that ended last night at supper. Um, and there were times where I felt a little hungry. But I'm good. I, uh, I, uh, it wasn't difficult. I mean, but that's something you need to mentally train for, you know, um, because when you start, I think that skipping breakfast is difficult. Uh, skipping lunch is difficult. Skipping supper is difficult. Now, skipping supper is something that's still a little bit difficult for me when I'm fasting. Um, but for the most part, I think that I've just grown used to it and I know how to uh, counteract the things that I'm feeling, such as keto flu or... Uh, hunger with uh, bone broth with coffee tea water you know um, and fasting I find makes a big difference um, documenting our life with the kids has provided a lot of motivation for us we uh, we both really don't like how we look on the other videos um, in the lobster one uh, in the makeup one and in the the strider bike and the pine cone videos um, but documenting it and putting it out there online has really done a lot to motivate us to do better. Um, and I think that that's one thing that we really want from the community is we want you guys to keep us accountable. Uh, and even just putting the stuff online, it keeps us accountable because we see what we look like and, um, and that's a lot of motivation. That's where we're at. That's where we're at with our weight loss journey. Um, we're going to add content about what we're eating, recipes, uh, how our weight loss is going, uh, things that we notice while we're losing weight, such as my, uh, the approach and my patience I've noticed with my kids and that sort of thing. Um, we've agreed that our best strategy for cheat days is every time I lose five kilograms and Jing loses three. Um, we think it's working. I think it's working. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying the journey and enjoying seeing the weight loss um, we want to incorporate exercising more now that the gyms are back open and we also want to start uh, biking as a family so um, specialized if you're watching we would love to be part of the specialized team um, Jing and I want to be able to put a trailer behind uh, put a trailer behind our bikes and go get groceries and be more um, eco-responsible and uh, also obviously lose weight and get fit while we're doing it. So specialized, if you're out there, that's, uh, that's, that's our call to action for you is we would love some bikes. Um, I will wear a specialized t-shirt every day for the rest of my life if you want me to. Um, but overall, uh, we're doing this to be better as a family. We're doing this uh, to live longer feel better and it's working you know um i can't i can't say enough about having someone there to support you for those of you out there that don't have that please uh use these videos as motivation um comment below uh right now tell me what your biggest struggle is you know um tell me if you are currently on a plan or if you're just sort of winging it uh, you know reach out to me reach out to us we um we all support you and we want you to do uh, the best you can. We understand this isn't easy. Um, and if there's anything that we can do to help you, uh, shout outs. You know, if you want us to recognize you in the videos and tell, tell the world how you guys are doing, we'll do it. Absolutely. Whatever you guys need. We want to come together as a community uh, of, of parents, uh, of, of people that are looking to be more fit, of people that are on a fitness journey. We also want to show and share how we parent our kids, how our, how our children grow up, uh, how they experience things. We really want to take them to Disney, uh, anything. You know, we want, to, we want to show them, show you their 
um, reactions, and we want to see them ourselves. We want uh, now that we're on the other side of hopefully we're on the other side of this COVID nineteen thing. We want to get out there and travel and um, show you guys and document how the kids grow up and how they react to things. Um, and they're so different. Claire and Carson, uh, if you put them both in a room, you wouldn't know they were related except for how they treat each other. <laughs> I've noticed that I don't crave foods that I can't eat all that much, uh, the exception being beer. I've developed a huge affinity for guacamole uh, that I make myself, which is super simple. Uh, I love lemons, which is strange, but uh, the nice thing is one lemon, one whole lemon, if you juice it, has one net carb. So we make like a keto lemonade using liquid stevia uh, and uh, sparkling or bubbling water, bubbly water, I guess. We've been putting MCT oil in our coffee in the morning. MCT oil uh, is derived from coconut oil. It's medium chain triglycerides. It helps uh, the body recognize that you're not hungry. It helps with your cognitive function without eating. It's just all around great. You can get some calories without getting any carbs. Uh, so Jing and I both use that in the morning uh, in our coffee. We only get it from one specific place because there's good MCT oil and there's bad MCT oil. And if you're going to a generic spot, you're most likely not getting good MCT oil. So if you want any tips with that, please uh, reach out to us and we'd be happy to help you with that. Stevia, liquid stevia has been a lifesaver because there's no insulin response, uh, which is important for me as a diabetic. Again, Please don't take any of this as medical advice. Uh, this is just what's working for me. And uh, if you want my experience and my opinion, I will give it to anyone that wants it. Um, and some that don't sometimes. <laughs> the only thing that I, else that I wanna say is if this message touches you in any way, uh, please feel free to reach out to us in the comments. I know it's hard. I think being, over uh, being overweight uh, and obese, uh, people shy away from contact. Um, if you guys need help, I'm here for you. Uh, if you guys need help, I'm here for you. I um, I understand the pain. I understand the struggle. It's not easy. Um, but if we can help each other, it'll be easier. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, here's a crazy thing that I forgot to mention to you guys. Uh, I've lost almost all the weight before. Uh, at my heaviest ever, I was 305 pounds. Um, I don't know what that is in key in kilograms, but I will, uh, I'll put that in the video. Um, at my lightest, I was 209 pounds. Uh, my goal is to be 185 at the end of all this, but, uh, we'll see if that's a healthy weight by the time that I get there. I, I just, I don't know. At 209 and my goal always has been 185. Um, I can't tell you how I got back to almost 300 pounds. I can't tell you that that, uh, that body dysmorphia is a real thing because uh, at 209 pounds, when I looked at myself in the mirror, I saw the same person and the same body shape that I saw at 305 pounds. I didn't, I did not see a difference. And I think that that is incredibly dangerous. And it makes it incredibly easy to, uh, to, to fall off the wagon and slip back to uh, a heavier weight. I didn't see any difference. And that still is incredibly strange to me. Uh, but but body dysmorphia is real. <laughs> um, because of this, uh, when my weight started to creep back up, I just didn't notice. Uh, when I was 209 pounds, I wasn't using a scale anymore because, uh, you know, it took so much effort to lose any weight that, that the scale didn't make any difference to me. Um, at the time, and I don't recommend this, but it was what I was doing at the time. I was following an okay nutrition plan, uh, but I was going to the gym twice a day. I would go first thing in the morning, five or six a.m. somewhere around there, and I would do cardio for forty-five minutes. And then after I was done work for the day, I would go back to the gym, do another half hour of cardio, and then do a weight routine where I would work all of the muscle groups in a, in every week. Like one one day would be for one muscle group basically. Um, it worked. It was a ton of effort. I don't want to do it again. Um, and I don't think I have to. I think that uh, if I had a better nutrition plan at the time, uh, it would have been much easier. But I'll tell you, there's, uh, there's not much that, that feels better than seeing weight come off when you step on a scale. If I can leave you guys with one thing, I just 
really want everyone who is touched by this video, who's moved by this video, uh, who needs help, who wants support, who just wants to talk about it with someone, um, reach out. We'll also try to open up some sort of Facebook page or group so that we can uh, we can all support each other and uh, collectively uh, I think that we can do great things. I'm here to support you. Uh, my family is here to support you. Uh, the kids love interacting with people. They're super positive about most things. Um, you know, anything that we can do to help, we, uh, we're here. We want to support you. We want to talk to you. Um, and if you like this video, um, we'll, we'll make more of them. We might make our own YouTube channel for it. You guys might not want to see it on the same channel. And if that's the case, let us know. Comment down below if, if I should make, or if we should make our own channel about the weight loss journey. We wanted to make it all one channel because we, uh, these are all things that we're interested in and we want to document our lives. So yeah, let us know if we should be making another channel. Uh, just comment down below with that. Um, let us know what you guys are doing to lose weight, what has worked, what hasn't, you know, uh, if you are on a similar path to us, we would love to hear your successes uh, and, and, and what hasn't worked for you. Um, we are super interested in adding some exercise into it. We want to we wanna start bikes, specialized. Please like this video, subscribe and hit the bell. Make sure you hit the bell so that you always see when we have new stuff out. And someone actually commented, uh, uh, a close friend of mine said that uh, she hadn't heard from me on Facebook or any, you know, I hadn't posted anything on Facebook or anything like that in about 10 years. And all of a sudden I have, uh, we have a YouTube video page. We have, we have a YouTube page. We have a Instagram page and I'm posting more on Facebook. And uh, I had, didn't tell her anything at the time because I wanted to make this video and, and then uh, sort of let this explain it to her. But yeah, I, um, I feel much better. Um, and I think that every time that uh, I lose a significant amount of weight, I'll feel even that much more better. Um, so I'm really looking forward to the journey and I'm looking forward to, uh, to getting there. But I think that the important part is, uh, is sticking with it, which is cliche. Uh, but I think the important part is the nutrition first and foremost. Um, and then anything that you can do to sort of get an extra boost or change things around every once in a while, I think helps. So, uh, that's how I'm going to be using my uh, fasting. Keep going, you guys. Um, if you guys see this video and, um, maybe you are not overweight or obese, uh, I would love to hear your thoughts too, because I think that a lot of the, the stigma around it is from not talking about it. Right. Um, I don't feel at all comfortable talking about this stuff with my family at the end of the day i think that what people need is support and uh if the more you can talk about it the more you can uh, keep it from being the elephant in the room that's one of the keys i said it several times in this video and i apologize especially if it all makes it through the final edits um but uh, we couldn't thank you more for watching our videos please like subscribe and hit the button um to to show your support for us and um, be sure to leave comments. We love comments. We will always respond to them. So please, please do that. Um, this channel is Claire and Carson in Canada, and uh, it really is from the, the viewpoint of parents. So um, parenting our children, uh, how we get, a, get by with that, fitness, um, what it's like to live in Canada. We're a biracial, multicultural family. And what I mean by that is uh, Jing is Chinese. Um, I am Canadian third generation Canadian. I guess most of my heritage is from the UK. Uh, I say most because I have no idea. And then the kids are biracial, right? They're, um, they're, they're half me and half, half Chinese. Yeah, I think, and I also think that that's a cheat code for cute kids, uh, because, <laughs> um, but it feels like biracial kids, uh, are a cheat code for cuteness. Just, just throwing that out there. Uh, it's just another reason that racism is wrong. And yeah, if you, if you like this video, our other videos right now are more about uh, spending time with the kids, uh, showing them live lobsters and their reactions to it, which was fun, uh, a makeup challenge, and uh, a pine cone, and we reviewed a Strider bike for Carson. Okay, thanks guys, I have talked a lot. I, um, I was really super uncomfortable to, to have this conversation, uh, even though I'm the only person in the room. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching all the way through and um, 
We'll see you guys soon. Anything that you guys want to see from us, any videos, any content, that kind of stuff. So if you want to see something along these lines, we are more than willing to do it. Yeah, let us know what you want to see. We're, uh, we're all ears.